Hello, Jim Dine artists. Today we're going to complete our project making our four hearts and gluing them onto the background that we created. So let's go ahead and get started. You're going to need your hearts with your texture designs, your watercolor background, your scissors and your glue. Here we go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, set your glue and background off to the side. You just need your scissors and stencil right now. I'm gonna use my teacher scissors. So let's remember how we hold our scissors correctly. Thumb goes into the smaller circle. Fingers go into the jelly bean shape, whatever feels comfortable to you. Your thumb should be on the top and your scissors are pointing straight away from you. All right, keep your scissors straight and use your other hand to turn the paper. Here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, take your four hearts, place them on the background, and then decide exactly how you would like to see them placed before you glue them down. What's gonna look good on what color background? Maybe you wanna put something with these types of colors and a more complementary background so that they stand out better. Where do the colors pop out the best? So that's what you're going for. It's what you're trying to determine. And then look at your patterns too. What looks the best with your patterns? All right, I'm very happy with how this is laid out. I'm going to take my glue and open my glue, squeeze the top so I can hear the air. If I can't hear the air, but glue comes out, I know it's gonna work, so that's okay. If I didn't hear any air or see any glue, that means that it is stopped up and we need to pick the dried glue off the top and then make sure we can open it and use it. So do you see where I put the glue right here? Not too close to the edge at all. And then I'm gonna put it in one of the four quadrants. So quadrant, the word quadrants based on um, the idea that something is broken into four parts. So if you think of a quadrilateral, if you think of a quarter, quad, so it's in four parts. There we go. I've got four different background areas of my picture right here. I'm gonna glue these in, and then I will be done with my Jim Dine inspired background. If at any point while you are gluing, you notice that some parts are kind of sticking up and they aren't glued all the way down, go ahead and take your glue, get under there, add a little more, it couldn't hurt. Sometimes that happens and it's better to just have it glued completely all the way down. All right, when you are all done, take a photo of your beautiful picture, put it on Seesaw, and then hang this up and decorate your room, your house for Valentine's Day. I hope you had a lot of fun. I did. See you next time.